Hello everybody and welcome back to another RPG Maker tutorial. My name is Adam Noble, I'm a developer for Unhinged LLC, working on the game Lost Legend, and uh, today we're talking about the testing room. So in the past couple videos, you've seen me work in this room to do most of my examples. Now, this room is actually used by us in the game, but not to the players. This room is actually used to test things before they get put into the game. For example, you can get infinite gold here. Uh, this is just a stupid joke, apparently. You can just go back to wherever you want to be. Um, in the world, there's just random dogs here, I guess. Um, there's the achievement beaver. Um, that gives you all of the achievements in the game, currently. There's the crab, who just, uh, takes all of your achievements away. Uh, there's this thing. It's apparently a fish. Just test fishing. Uh, oh, this is the ice puzzle thing that I was doing in the previous video. Uh, and this is the enemy that I showed in the other video. So if you want to check out either of those, check out the RPG Maker Tutorials playlist that I've made. Come on, what are you doing? So anyway, there's that. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make a testing room of your own. So, you're somewhere in one of the earliest parts in your game. You should just make a uh, somewhere where you can click on it. So, for example, first you're going to want to make the room. We just kind of fooled around with the textures and stuff, as you can see, just to have some fun. But, um... In my opening map, I'm going to find a spot where I want to be able to enter my testing room. And this is so that you can enter it quickly without having to go through a whole bunch of stuff and go find it later and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to pick right here. Once I've made this event, I'm going to make sure it's same as characters. Trigger action button is fine. And uh, we're going to make it so that you basically have to press a sequence of buttons in order to trigger going into the testing room so that someone can just accidentally click on it. They would never find it ever, and if you forget to take it out of the final game, then who cares? And if someone ever actually finds it, then they get a cool little, little easter egg. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a conditional branch, and we're going to do... Uh, where's it at? Button shift is being pressed. Button shift is being pressed. Conditional branch... Button OK is being pressed, then uh, self switch A. And then we're going to need a new page, same as characters, self switch A. And then we're going to do um, conditional branch, and we're going to do button uh, shift is being pressed, and then we're going to do. Uh, Button OK is being pressed. Uh, self switch B. New page. Same as characters. Self switch B. Conditional branch. Button uh, cancel is being pressed. And then conditional branch OK is being pressed. And then we're going to do a transfer player to testing room and old maps. Doesn't really matter how we transfer, but there we go. So now I test this. Alright, so we're here on our opening map and we're going to try this out. So I'm going to hold shift and press OK. Then I'm going to do it again, hold shift, press OK. Then I'm going to hold escape, it's going to pause, and then I'm going to hold it long enough for it to unpause. Press OK again. Here we are in the testing room. So as you might imagine, no one's ever going to walk up to a random tree, hold shift, press OK twice, hold escape, let it unpause, press OK while still holding escape, and you know, no one's ever going to do that. So this gives you a quick and easy way to uh, get into a testing room to test your things in engine and play them um, without having to worry about leaving it in the game or not. It just gives you a, one consolidated place to do all your stuff. And I highly recommend having a testing room. So that's it for this particular episode. If you guys like this or learned something or got an idea from this, please let us know in the comments. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on the website and the Twitch. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.